Did the big Ontario debate change much? Well, according to new poll results, the Ontario Progressive Conservatives under Doug Ford are holding their lead. That's the latest from a survey of Nanos Research for CP24 and CTV News. It's just out. Here's the results. 30 6.1% of voters say they support the Ontario PCs. The Liberals, 29.3%. The Ontario NDP in third, 19.8%. That, by the way, is interesting. The Greens have 7.3%. They got a little bump. The New Blue Party, 47 And the Ontario Party, 1.1%. Doug Ford leads as the preferred premier. Check this out. 32.1% of the survey respondents say Doug Ford is their preferred premier. Then it's Stephen Del Duca, the liberal leader, at 21.6%. Andrea Horvath has 17.5%. Then the Green Party leader, Mike Schreiner, with 8.3%. And how did the debate sway voters? Well, according to the Nano survey, 40% of respondents say no one won the debate Monday night. 26% said Doug Ford was the winner. Stephen Del Duca and Mike Schreiner both tied at 14% saying they won the debate. And Andrea Horvath of the NDP trails. Only 6% of respondents say Andrea Horvath was the winner. So how did these numbers shake up the campaign trail and what impact did the debate have or could it have? Larissa Waller from GT and Company joins me. She previously served as the head of comms to the Ontario Premier Doug Ford. Um, Larissa, look, the, the survey says that uh, Doug Ford's surviving, but what's underneath going on between the NDP and the Liberals is quite interesting. So what's your takeaway? I think it's really interesting. I think the Liberals are, are sort of settling into where they traditionally are when they're not up. Um, I, I think we all can agree that uh, the 2018 election that saw Kathleen when ousted um, was sort of an anomaly. It was a big change election, but, but they bottomed out. And it seems to me that they're kind of settling into where they're comfortable. They've got to grow from here. I don't know if they have enough time. The NDP traditionally lands around 20 percent, um, and I think that's probably where they'll be around Election Day. But the PCs need uh, the Liberals and the NDP to have a better split of the vote. So the, the Tories need the NDP to come up, and we need the Liberals to go back down a little bit. Yeah, Ford surviving, though, and I know, uh, obviously, you used to uh, work with uh, Ontario Premier Doug Ford. I guess his, his, uh, he's running a front-runner's campaign, right? Kind of do no harm. Is that the strategy for him? Yeah, I mean, you saw that in the debate. You know, when 40% of the respondents say that no one won the debate, no one winning the debate is still Doug Ford winning the debate. Um, his challenge was staying cool, calm, and collected, uh, being that sort of affable, really... Um, the sort of premier that cares about you, the sort of premier that um, most Ontarians got to know during the pandemic. And listen, Stephen Del Duca and Andrew Horvath, uh, for their attacks to have landed during the debate, uh, Ontarians would have had to believe that COVID was um, exclusive to Ontario and that Ontario did the worst among any international or domestic comparator. And Ontarians, I don't think, believe that. Um, Del Duca still seems to be unable to break through. I think they're really relying on that really, really strong Liberal brand. The Liberal brand, you know, across Canada is probably the strongest uh, political brand you can have. And so he's got that going for him. You've seen candidates, you know, leave him completely off their right. literature. Um, and so I think they've got to lean, the Liberals have to go more towards Liberal and less Stephen Del Duca. Although his numbers, interestingly, have actually climbed a, a little. But, okay, there's not a lot of runway left in this uh, race. Two weeks, but we'll find out what happens there. Larissa Waller, great to have you on the program. Appreciate it.